Hey everyone, Ben and Ob here. We just got home. From Mardi Gras. From Mardi Gras. If we look exhausted. We are. It's because we are. But we have some important things that we think you need to consider if you are planning a trip to Mardi Gras later this season. Let's start off with food. There's some good food this the year. International season of carnival. I'd say my biggest thing as far as the food goes this year is it doesn't seem like there's been as many booths as there have been in years past. Mm -hmm. That said, the quality the is quality's really very, good. very good. Additionally, some of the food booths I think are a little hidden because mm -hmm. of they are the, they're not like staged theme looking booths. You will walk right by them if you're not looking for yeah, them. Yeah, like that very first one, Belgium, we almost yeah. missed it. Because it's already a structure that Universal, snack stand? yeah, snack stand that Universal yeah. already has, you don't think of it as a food booth, mm -hmm. but it had, in my opinion, the best dessert yeah. at Mardi Gras this year, which was the cookie butter waffle. If you haven't watched the food review or the full food video that we filmed, check it out. We will link it below. But there was there was definitely another snack stand down by like Jimmy Fallon and then also Columbia, Columbia and which was right by. tucked right back there in the New York Tribute mm -hmm. Store area. We 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 missed it completely. Um, and it had some good looking food at it. So although less food booths, the quality of food though was so good. We do highly recommend still, and we uh, we recommended this in our tips video is to get a food and beverage card. Mm -hmm. We bought four of them. We bought four we spent of two. the um, non the, the basic, A basic tier yeah. of the food card, which mm -hmm. is. $65, you get $75 worth of food. If you have an annual pass and you get the bigger food card, or if you have just the basic standard ticket and you want the regular food card, we recommend getting it because mm -hmm. it saves you some bucks. They don't expire. You can use them all over the place. Mm -hmm. And we have one full food card and another one that is barely used that we will be bringing back to the parks in March to utilize again. If you're going later in the evenings or closer to the parade time, do expect to wait a little longer for food, the food booths open up around 11, but yep. if you're going closer to that dinner time, expect so that those lines, else. expect those lines yeah. to be long, unless you're going to the crepe stand in which the line is, and the wait is always long. Clear yourself about 40 minutes to get that crepe. But bring your patient pants if you're trying to snag dinner from one of those food booths. What did you think of the tribute store this year? <sighs> it, it was okay. The tribute store, we did not spend as much time like taking in mm -hmm. the details of the tribute store as we have in uh, seasons past. It wasn't, it was still well themed. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad, don't get me wrong on that. Um, I also really appreciated some of the effects that they have in yeah, there. The dark light effects. Uh -huh. um, or just the, the I, don't, I don't know the right terminology for like, haunted houses and ways, mm -hmm. but like the walls that disappear and mm -hmm. everything. Like, I think that's very cool. I think I go through the tribute store initially to buy merch mm -hmm. and then secondarily <laughs> to look at the theming mm -hmm. and find the Easter eggs. And so looking at merch initially, there wasn't as much merch that I fell in love with this time. Yeah, I, me neither. I agree with that, that I didn't find, I didn't even find a t-shirt that I fell in love with mm -hmm. this time around. I tried to make you, but you did not. And, but I agree with the idea that it's like, it almost had some HHN feel mm -hmm. to it, mm -hmm. uh, based off some of the effects that they had with the black light, with the disappearing yeah. wall. It with had- the moving skeleton head. Very yeah. much, like a winter's wake meets odd fellow sort yeah. of feel to it. Which it was like a haunted It was like voodoo. Boat. Voodoo, yeah. With voodoo uh, and stuff. And so like I guess the that crocodile on the ground, like yeah. that was really cool. Yeah. But I agree, I think I liked last year's tribute store probably better. Mm -hmm. I also, I don't mind that the tribute store was in Hollywood. I was, you know, someone pointed out that they were bouncing back and forth between the two. And so it was interesting that we actually stayed over in Hollywood again. It did throw me off. And maybe it's just part of the theme of Mardi Gras this year that the entrance was on the opposite side, mm -hmm. which also, as we get to the parade, we'll talk about how it goes the opposite direction. And I think I'm coming to find us universal people really like our traditions. Like our traditions. <laughs> Don't go changing it up on us. Oh no. Next performers and the parade. 
some really great stilt walkers per usual. Always. Some really great costumes and makeup mm -hmm. and some meh, not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> not my favorite costume um, work. But the stilt walkers, fantastic as usual. Always a big fan. And just the performers in general mm -hmm. are wonderful. Like very excited and happy to be there. Of course, it's opening a couple days, so everyone's stoked. But I was I was pleasantly surprised overall by it. Like I said, some costumes though, not my favorite. Mm -hmm. What about you? If you want to get some pictures with the performers, mm. show up a little bit before the parade. They'll kind of do like a meet and greet sort of thing yep. out from the entryway all the way back to about the mummy yep. with just having little groups of performers out that you can take mm -hmm. pictures with, interact with, and play rock, paper, scissors with if you're Aubrey. Mm. I agree. Some great costumes, some classic costumes, and some costumes that you go, what, what are you? <laughs> but. I was blown away by those. Yeah, the wind. <laughs> but still. But still good nonetheless, yeah. Mardi Gras is always a bit of a reach when it comes to some of the theming. That's and so true. they take some creative reaches and creative liberties, which we're, yeah. we're always here for. Some some creative liberties take really well. So. Mm -hmm. um, I will yeah. point out, and this is a conversation we had with some of the team members, but there was a lot less body glitter this year. Mm -hmm. I think they repurposed it and put it on the floats because mm -hmm. you and I. Covered. We're covered in glitter after our ride and dine experience. So I think that leads me to ask you, what did you think of the parade this year? The floats, the music, mm -hmm. the direction, the bead throwing, all of it. Where, where do you want to start? I'm going to kind of leave some of the parade out because we didn't get to film it from the ground. Both Fair. nights that we saw the parade, we were throwing beads, which I think we, we should cover in a minute. Yeah. But the ride and dine was great, as always. The reverse route, I actually don't care for mm -mm. because you leave the gate and then you go right pre right past Transformers. And it's like, that's already kind of a dead zone mm -hmm. for the parade because well, it's so tight. narrow. Yeah. And it just doesn't like hype you up. Like this is the Mardi Gras parade. It's like there's small crowds on either side. Yeah. And then by the time you actually hit Hollywood when you're almost done, Pretty much everybody's out of beads, which is never fun for you throwing the beads because it's awkward, mm -hmm. and it's not fun for the people on the ground because you're not. They throwing just waited the beads. 20 minutes for you to get over there. I think that that reverse route, like you said, it does really, from the bead throwing perspective, because mm -hmm. that's what we did. Um, I think it really does kind of diminish the whole like amped up mm -hmm. start because we're all you know jacked up and waiting or get to throw beads and it's like all right enjoy let's go. And then like you are hucking beads, mm -hmm. but it's to very small amounts of people. Whereas if you are able to go down that straight stretch of Hollywood in the traditional direction, mm -hmm. if you will, um, there are so many more people there and they are so excited. And it's, you know, like, it just seems to make sense that when you have the mass amount of beads to start, you mm -hmm. should be hitting the mass amount of people mm -hmm. on both Hollywood and Minions Alley by that next mm -hmm. turn. Versus like, once you get to the and going the would it be clockwise route, mm -hmm. um, there are less people and you have less right. beads versus the alternative of having like mass amounts of beads mm -hmm. and very few groups of people in this awkward alley area. It wasn't it wasn't bad, mm -hmm. but I prefer the alternative direction um, that we went last year versus this year for the parade route. What did you think of the floats? Now we did not really get to see all of the floats in their glory doing the thing because we were on, what were we on? We were on a volcano, volcano fire float. float. Um, and then the second night we did Jester, mm -hmm. happened to get in in the virtual queue. Um, from what I saw on those two, really cool. Walking past them, they were all really cool. Yeah, walking past them, all really cool. I think that when we go back and get to see it, um, get to see the parade from the ground and have the team members come by mm -hmm. and the stilts and the dancers and all of that, like. I think we'll get an even better sense of it. But overall, the floats looked really, really cool. cool. Couple of pro tips though, if you're trying to get virtual lines mm -hmm. for the bead throwing experience. Because you don't have to pay. You do not have to do the ride and dine to throw beads. You can get in for free. You gotta have the Universal Orlando app. Get the app. 
I would probably be, you have to be, it says on property. I'd be in but studios. But I would be in studios and I would probably be back by animal actors. They got tables out there, hang out back there. And then you'll go into like the parade and experiences and it'll say re re uh, reserve virtual line mm -hmm. space. And I would probably, we were probably button clicking for 15 minutes trying to like refresh and make sure that we get it. The team member will come out and be like, they're dropping X number of virtual mm -hmm. line spots. I'd say the button clicking really starts when that team member comes out and tells you like, hey, we're gonna drop spots. They have a megaphone, they'll be kind of shouting at you. When that happens though, if you are already in the app, we definitely recommend to close out of the app and open it back up because mm -hmm. things are gonna get reloaded and refreshed. And you know, get a group with you and have people go through and, and click that button. Um, and have a full set of three, just yeah, in case you can you reserve can get up to three spots per, per drop. Yeah, um, we were able. I think we ended up getting nine spots mm -hmm. reserved. We had seven of us. We just wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to get in. Don't think you're greedy requesting nine because, like, more people will just show up and take those spots anyway. It's true. So it's true. Get get what you need for your group. It's a great experience. If you've never thrown beads, definitely recommend it. If you want a dinner ahead of time, do the ride and dine, and we will be sharing that experience with you guys in another video. If it's not launched now, it will be soon. Our concert that we had, it was fine. Showed up late. Showed up a little late. It's a live concert, saved yeah. his best song till the end. I'm excited to see how the remainder of the concerts go. There's gonna be nine more depending on the time that this video actually launches. There might be eight more. It really depends on the day. But I am excited to hear how each of the concert sets go. I think there's gonna be some that are fantastic. I think there are others that might be surprising to folks. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite thing about the Mardi Gras this year? Oh, that's a hard question. Mardi Gras question. this time. Does it have to be about Mardi Gras or can it be like what happened on the weekend of Mardi Gras? Let's stick like it to, within, to like within Mardi Gras this, hours. The Mardi Gras-ish -ish event. I think one of the coolest experiences for us was how many people we got to hang out with yeah. and see the very first day of Mardi Gras. Like, we were at Mardi Gras the first day last year. Mm -hmm. We were, mm -hmm. we were. Um, but the turnout this season for Mardi it's Gras like was like a, a Mardi Gras themed HHN yeah. with so many content creators and friends yeah. and people there to perform. Like. It was pretty darn cool. Mm -hmm. Just the way all of those people engage Mardi Gras in their own way, I thought that was just mm -hmm. neat. Like some people are dressing up, some people are showing up to this thing, some mm -hmm. people are doing that thing. Um, so I had a blast with that. Uh, what about yourself? Same, yeah. I, like I think, I think we're really solidifying the idea of like a scream squad or a Mardi yeah. Gras squad or a holiday squad is-, is Beat hucking is, squad. Is the way <laughs> to go. So if you're going to Mardi Gras this season, definitely bring some friends with you. It'll be, an even better time. We hope to see you in the next time we're down in Mardi Gras in the middle of March. Yep. If you have any questions regarding Mardi Gras, the foods, the performances, etc., be sure to let us know in the comments. If you got anything out of this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to support our channel further, we would love to see you on our Patreon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.